Model 40025 Hoist Rope Threading Instructions Once you've got your parts laid out and your rope untangled, take one end of the rope and thread it through one of the holes on the mounting bracket that doesn't have the locking mechanism. Form a double knot to prevent the rope from falling back through the hole. Next, take the other end of the rope and run it through the pulley on one set of arms and then through the pulley on the mounting bracket without the locking mechanism. Now you'll probably want to pull some rope through so you've got plenty of rope for the next part of the threading. Next, continue to thread the rope through the pulley on the mounting bracket with the locking mechanism, then through the pulley on the other set of arms, and finally we'll begin threading the locking mechanism. We'll want to run the rope under the pulley on the locking mechanism first. Then you'll want to make sure that the rope goes underneath the hinged locking mechanism itself. You may find it's easy to pull that rope through a little bit before you try to thread it through that hole and then finally thread it through the hole on the locking mechanism and pull through. The threading's now complete. Let's go to a close-up shot of the locking mechanism. Make sure you thread the rope underneath the locking mechanism and then through the hole. Notice that the locking mechanism is hinged and the rope is underneath it. When weight is added to the hoist, the locking mechanism will pull tight against the rope like so. And when released, the rope will flow through easy. That's it. The threading is complete. Now you can mount your hoist and enjoy it. Thank you.